Hey boys, it's the War Within, and you want to unlock Earth and Allied Race. They're a bit rough looking, but hey, I'm not here to judge your life choices. It's not going to be easy though, as to unlock them you will need to complete the introduction leveling story, you will also need a level 80, and you need to complete the War Within story quests too. They by the way require level 4 renown with all factions. Change your mind yet? No? Well on top of that, you will have to do separate quest chains that I'm about to show you. Alright, let's jump right into it. Get your ass to Dornagal, and in the corner of the city you will find Aldra, and accept the quest How Scandalous. This quest takes you to these guys who think they have some sort of smuggling problem. Illegal dwarf magazines and such? While well, checking the shipment, you'll find some high quality coke, I mean coal, high quality coal, and that won't be enough and you will also have to interrogate the workers. All of them will lie, except for this one guy who is a total snitch. And you know what happens to snitches, right? We have to check another pack of goods and it turns out they are smuggling some Nerubian panties, which is a big no-no among the earthen. The whole operation then is closed and all the Nerubian cherry panties are seized. Then with that over, we have to start another quest line. Get your ass to Isle of Dorne and right under Rambleshire, find this spot and you will be hired to take care of some uh, pesky kobolds who have infested the local statue park. Now here there will be a line of kobold extermination tasks, mostly just killing and blowing up kobolds and their homes. They are like tiny little ants that needs to be squished. After you wipe out every last one of them, you're done. As you emerge victorious, covered in cobalt guts and glory, you can't help but think, is this what my life has come to? Squishing tiny creatures for living? But hey, at least the statue park is safe. For now. And now, with that done, you are on another quest line. So head over to Fallside Outpost Sorry. and have a chat Hello. with uh, Kogran. He's getting a bit senile and is prepping for his uh, eternal dirt nap. But before he can kick the bucket, he needs to craft a lantern. First, you'll need to gather the ingredients some ores and some cores from the wolves. Then you will have to forge this lantern by kicking what looks like a bunch of potatoes into the forge. They're supposed to be different items, but honestly, they all look like flying turds to me. That's After forging the lantern, the poor old man gets a case of amnesia and bolts into the forest like a complete lunatic. He doesn't recognize anyone and probably thinks he's been abducted by aliens. You finally find him snoozing under a tree, hand him his lantern and gently remind him that he needs to go die and not hang around the forest like a lost puppy. We finally meet up by the shore and get gather some flowers for his living tombstone. He takes a few steps with his lantern and uh, turns into a rock solid stone. What a way to go, right? You'd think you're done by now, but no, there's more. Head over to Gundergaz in the Ringing Deeps and pick up a quest called the Counselor Ward summons. You will have to chat with Council Ward Merix. This will drag us back into the previous quest line where we stumbled upon those illegal Nerubian panties. We'll start off by delivering packages like you work for the UPS. This eventually leads us down a deep, deep rabbit hole, doing favor after favor after favor for those dwarves to get a single pass rune or a golden ticket to Charlie's Chocolate Factory. We hand our ticket to this golem and he lets us through to the Charlie's Chocolate Factory. That's right, boys and girls. And guess what? It turns out this dwarf operation is corrupt as Colombian government. High-ranking officials are actually criminals. So there you are, knee-deep in dwarf politics. 
wondering if you should have just stay in bed today. But hey, at least you get to see the look on everyone's face when it turns out Merrix is the real panty smuggler. After that turn of events, we go back to Gundragaz and meet machinist Kitrin. He will send us finding different tools that later on he will try to reforge. As always, Blizzard comes clutch and makes us kick some turds back into the forge as it spits them out. This time we are literally kicking them in. It looks like they put some style to it too. So you are feeling like Ronaldo kicking a penalty shot. You quickly finish it up and to continue at this point you have to be at least level 80 to continue. We return to Dornagal to grab this note from the wall that starts the quest sedition and there we are back into the damn smuggling operation again working with the corrupt officials our task is to take down propaganda posters claiming that merrix is a dirty panty smuggler and threaten anyone who doesn't believe he won fairly on earthen's next top model after that we have to be merrix's personal butler and dress him up for the night out on the town he slowly puts on his pimp suit and marches out the door like he's about to star in 70s disco movie. You'll meet up with him and Overseer and those two guys are going to fight it out John Wick style. As his bodyguard, you then will have to fight his robots. After slaying those mechanical minions, they'll have a quick smuggler to smuggler chat and uh, quickly hug it out. Because nothing says I'm sorry for trying to kill you like a I heartfelt embrace, right? At this point you should unlock the earthen race, unless you still haven't finished the war within main storyline. Or one of the other requirements that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Well I hope it was worth it to do all this to get an earthen character. I myself am not so sure about that. I imagine the restrictions will be lowered as we progress into this expansion, but this questline most likely still will be required. Well, nothing else left but to create a new Earth and characters. And have fun, boys. Like and subscribe if uh, you think it was helpful, and see you later, guys.